What are some deep, thought-provoking questions to ask someone to know them better? What is your ex's version of that breakup? People are surprisingly and unintentionally honest. What do you hate? Tells a lot about the person you're talking to. Edit. A lot of people are saying this is a wrong question to ask. Keep in mind that the key to a conversation is when to ask something. Watch the movie My Dinner with Andre to see how a progression from a conversation goes. What are your thoughts on life on other planets? Usually warrants a seriously face and I go, no, really. And most people will answer then seg into something along those lines that they are interested in and were discussing all kinds of things. Open-ended topics are great to get to know people. Which parallel universe versions of yourself would you want to meet and why? What do you love most about yourself? I love asking slash getting asked this question. It really makes you think about how you view yourself. At the end of Pete Holmes podcast you made it weird. He always asks what's the hardest you've laughed. Doesn't have to be the literal hardest, but whatever pops in their head first. I find that question always gets a good conversation going. Usually shows who's important to them, what's important, etc. What level of toastiness do you like your toast? What do you think happens after we die? Don't ask this on first date though they may think you want to murder them. Do you want or fold? Is a hot dog a sandwich? A few thought provoking questions that I would ask someone. What are you looking forward to this week? Should everyone on the planet be striving toward a common goal? If so, what would that be? If you could teach the entire world just one concept, what would it be? What concept do you think could have the most significant positive impact on humanity? Depends on why I'm trying to get to know them in the first place. Once when my roommate and I were searching for a third roommate for our new apartment, the first question we asked applicants was, who's your favorite Pokemon? It caught a lot of people off guard and the answer doesn't really matter that much, but the applicant's reaction to the question helped us filter through which ones had generally similar interests to us. A question a guy asked me during the first few days of college. Him, do you have a girlfriend? Asterisk op. Asterisk nope him. Asterisk why oh you don't have one, or you don't want one. Asterisk the second question sent me into deep introspection. But me and the guy became lifelong friends. Edit. Clarification. We both are guys. And, for the lack of a better phrase, asterisk no homo. But it's nice to know this for future reference. Is r slash us credit the place to ask and answer thought provoking questions? Why is your favorite book slash movie slash game your favorite? Everybody's got a favorite, blank, but asking them what they love about it is a great way to learn more about their interests and to learn more about them as a person. Favorite childhood memory? What's something you wish was socially acceptable? What weird habits did you have as a kid? For example, I would always hold the jug upside down when pouring milk. Do you believe there are other life forms in the universe? What fictional character do you relate to the most? If time was frozen for 8 hours right now, and you could still move around freely, what would you do? What superpower would you want, and why? What makes you feel at peace? For example you can visibly see the stress melt off of me once I'm out of the city. What's a hobby you've always wanted to pick up, but haven't? Is there a useless skill you have slash want to learn? Anything from blacksmithing to learning dead languages what's your guilty pleasure show slash music? If you could have one exist in real life would you choose dragons or magic, or substitute your own choices? What song is playing in the back of your head? What's something that freaks you out for no good reason? For example I fucking hate feet, like what other animal has feet like this? They are low-key useless and so weird, I hate them. What's a fact that makes people wonder why you know that? Were you a Greek mythology kid, or an Egypt kid? Dream vacation? If you didn't live here, where would you want to live? If you changed your name, what would it be? What do moths pee? What's the first thing you think of when you wake up most days? How do you handle your anger? How long do you think you'll live? Yeah like jazz. Google 36 questions to fall in love. Also works for provoking deep conversations. Or watch the skin deep on YouTube. You like who I was in the news? 
The other day I was making notes of things to ask someone I just met to get to know them better and this is what I came up with. I was not sober when I was writing all this down what's favorite. Sound smell pizza topping memory from being a teenager game author film cheese picture wine TV show from being a kid joke artist mythology tree place to be shade of green pattern for socks random trivia thing you know song by the cure thing about frogs did you like uni subject on mastermind most relaxed who's had biggest influence what superpower would your friends give you who would you have a tea party with last time cried what can nerd out most passionately about what was your childhood teddy bear called why do you like your best friend ice cream or lollies yellow or red rivers or lakes sunrise or sunset Chandler or Joey? Edit. Forgot the list. If you think out loud, is it really thinking? Or are you just talking to yourself? What is your mother's maiden name? What's the name of the street you grew up on? What was your first pet's name? What are the three digits on the back of your debit card? Ask someone whether or not they think free will exists. Follow up with a why or why not. Usually leads to a pretty interesting conversation. One question I like to ask people is, if you had all the resources, time, and land available to build whatever you want, a house, a park, a monument, what would you build? I'm no architect nor psychologist, and I know it kind of sounds like an interview question, but I believe it can trigger a very interesting discussion with that person. And you can keep asking about the reasons and details afterwards. That question is something I came up while I was dating my last partner. When I asked her that question, she started talking about how she would imagined her dream house, full of large windows and mosaics, with a colorful garden, and so. From there, it turned into a surprisingly long and pleasant conversation. What are you thinking right now? I remember my dad used to ask this to me, when I was a kid, I used to daydream in the car, when he'd drive all around Europe, I was about 6 years old and really, those were the best of times. It's really nice to use when you have nothing else to say, and it just gives a nice glimpse into what the other person really is thinking. Why is you you? This isn't so much a question, but a little game you can play that can help break the ice and let you know how well you mesh together. If you're at a place like a bar or restaurant look around the room and try to come up with backstories for other people there. It can be a lot of fun and takes some of the pressure off while getting you to talking to each other and getting a feel for each other's sense of humor slash personality. It can tell you a lot about a person. For example I played this while out on a date with this girl and she managed to take all the fun out the game by being ridiculously cruel in all her assumptions for no real reason at all. It felt like she was projecting issues she had onto these people. Like one guy was sitting at the bar alone. Could have been waiting for someone, you never know, but because he was alone he was a fucking loser with no friends that hates his life. Completely killed the mood, but at least gave me a heads up as to what type of person she was. Tits or ass? What's the most difficult decision you've had to make to see your dreams come true? Do you like pickles on a burger? Do you believe in Sasquatch? Super late to this but oh well. After getting to know someone a little, and we are kind of past all the general small talk, weather, family, light interests, etc, and I see the conversation dying down a little, I like asking how the other person feels about silence in conversation. Most people are a little taken aback, but it's nice to kind of set up how silence is between the two of you. Some people don't like it, and some people are very comfortable with it. Plus, it minimizes the amount of oh boy it's sorta of quiet should I say something, thoughts that may arise later, if you know what they're comfortable with. It can also be sort of telling of their approach to life slash relationships and their personality as well. What is your credit score? 